yo guys so today i'm going to be taking a look at the rk71 keyboard by royal crutch and uh this is a very economical but still fancy mechanical keyboard this is just a preview it's not a review i'm just going to be looking at through some of the features and modes that this thing has to offer as well as show you a couple of pointers on how to get the best make the best use out of this keyboard while paired to a mac device First things first, what does this thing have to offer? Okay, so feature-wise, the one that stands out the most is the ability to pair up to five Bluetooth devices. So in order to pair a device, all you gotta do is enter into Bluetooth mode. Right now I'm connected via the USB-C cable, so it acts as a USB keyboard, just a regular USB keyboard. To switch over to the Bluetooth, all you gotta do is hold the FN, press the P, which you could see right there is a little antenna thingy icon is to let you know that you will also also actually have bluetooth on so yes this keyboard can do both dual connecting mode that is really awesome and to connect to a device just hold on the fn key while pressing either one of these five shortcut keys to assign to a specific device Another neat feature about this keyboard being a Mac, we all know that MacBooks have a lot of keyboard shortcuts and media keys and all of the media keys on this keyboard work with the Mac. So we got the brightness control, we got expose, the launch pad works, all the uh, track forward and back play and pause works as well as the volume they all work with mac as well as the function key you know when you double tap you could get the dictation to speak and type what you speak so all the features that you will get on a mac keyboard are here with the exception of having the numbers typing numbers and having media keys they don't function at the same time so the only way to be able to use the numbers and the escape key is by going over to that keyboard layout. And the way you could change keyboard layouts is by pressing, holding down the FN key and tap on the control windows alt key at the same time. That will switch over to a different layout where you could have all the hot media keys uh, to function by pressing them. Or if you move over to the number layout, then all the numbers will work as you type them. And then the way you could access the media keys is by holding down the function key, and then you'll be able to access the media key, such as if I hold the shift down, you should be able to hear it out of my speakers. So you see, the media keys are still working like normal, just it's a little troublesome to have to rely on a function key to access that, but it's worth it because we will have the numbers available anytime we need to do it, uh, to log in or to type a password and whatnot. I personally like this uh, layout the best. All right, so moving on to our next thing is all the different light modes backlight modes that they have this keyboard does have 17 different modes so we're just gonna fly through them and I don't know their names or what are they called so I'm just gonna make them up as we go along so the first one we have right here this is the cool wave yeah, it's just a wave that ro rolls across from the left side of the keyboard to the right and most of these modes you could control either the speed or the, and of course the brightness, you could control the brightness of all the modes, but also you could control the speed using the arrow keys with the function key. So if I hold down the F function key and go to the right, it's gonna make it go quicker, faster, or we could slow down the animation. And once you hit the minimum or the maximum level, the keyboard is gonna flicker, letting you know you arrive at the highest or the fastest level now these dim animations really look great slow down so i'm going to keep it nice and slow and then arrows up is for brightness and this is the maximum brightness and we have five levels of brightness which is pretty generous as well and this is the lowest brightness we have and again once you reach the lowest it's just going to cut off all right up next we have the waterfall yeah it's gonna dim from the top to the bottom this one is called a counterclock. Slow it down, 
makes a really nice animation. So this is the counterclock. It's just a wave pattern going across counterclockwise. This is called the matrix key, the matrix password. I don't know, I keep making it up as we go. So this whole keyboard is laid out, the light is dimmed, very, very to the minimum dimness, but then random keys will light up just randomly. So it's called the matrix. This one is called the ripple. Yeah, we go from the center and a nice soft wave reaches the edges. So the ripple. This is just, yeah, the virus. Let's call it the virus. There is no pattern to it. I don't get what it is. Just going crazy, flickering everywhere. It hurts my eyes looking at it. So yeah, let's go on to the next one. Yes. Now this one, if you're bored, this is called the cat and mouse game. Yeah, you could see it, right? The cat chasing the mouse, no? Let's move on to the next one. And now this one is called Sunny Day at the Beach. Because you can see it, right? The be beach, waves coming in and out, no? All right, this one is the ping pong table. So each row has a wave going from one side or the other and they alternate between rows going in opposite directions so it creates the illusion of having two waves going from the center from left to right it's pretty cool i like this one all right now this mode is gonna be called strike it light it stroke it light it no i don't know what's a good name for this one Whatever key I press, that key will light up for a few seconds. I love this mode, especially in the daytime where we can see the keyboard very clearly, but it's just cool to have an effect as we're typing. That's just really, really nice. I really, really love this setup right here. And my other mode that I really love is this next one. Now this one is called Blackout because it's all lit up 100%, but whatever key I press will go black. Therefore, the blackout. Up next, we got, oh no, the flying eagle. You can see it, right? It's flying. Look at it go. Woohoo! This one is called shockwave. Very cool because whatever key I press will create, initiate a shockwave. Doesn't matter if it's from the top, the bottom, you can see it goes in various direction. This is another very nice effect when you're typing in the daytime. Up next, we got the beam, the row beam. So whatever key I press initiates a beam that goes across that specific row. And this one is just like, similar to Shockwave, but it's very thin and I don't like it as much. And that's it, we're all done. Once you reach to the zero point, there are no effects, basically off. And we start over to the beginning, where is there are no effects, all it is is all the, lit, the keys are lit. And here we go. This is the dim, dim the lights. Now this effect, it just goes from the dimmest point to the maximum point in a very slow, gradual effect. Of course, we can speed up the effect of the radiancy by increasing the speed. So it creates almost like a breathing effect. Up next, we're back to the start. Here we go. This is the start where we started off. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoy this quick tour of the keyboard layout modes. Uh, really quick before we finish, there's also one more cool thing about this keyboard. And I don't know if you could tell, side of the keyboards are lighting up with RGB yeah because it does actually have RGB lights but it's only right here on the back side was well, not the back it's technically it's on the side of the keyboard but it's kind of slanted in an angle so the light will shine on whatever surface the keyboard is on and I think that's pretty cool I'm really digging that effect and ch let's check it out some of the bones that we have all right, so now you could see that the RGB is doing this glow effect. 
switching between all the RGB colors and that is very cool. This is my favorite mode. Um, the next mode is we could switch mode by holding the FN key and the insert key. Now the insert below that you could see they have the RGB icons on the side of the keyboard. Really neat. Uh, tap on that and you move over to the next mode which is just scrolling through the different colors or the colors are pushing each other. I don't know what it's doing, but it's neat. I like it. After that, you just go cycle through all the different colors, the solid colors. So here's red. We got dark blue. This is dark green, purple, light green, teal. And this is supposed to be cool white, but it looks still very tealish like but it matches well the colors on the top and off. So there you have it guys. This is the RK71, different features and way how to use it with your Mac. Hopefully this video was helpful to anyone out there interested in purchasing this keyboard. Now, if you wanna see the full fledged review on this keyboard, I will be posting that up soon after I let it, you know, get to know the keyboard some more and test it some more and then we'll post that video up so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys on the next one peace